This is the tallest living man in the world and his name is Sultan Kosen. He is a Turkish farmer and he's 8 foot and 2.82 inches tall. And then we have the tallest land living animal in the planet. If you thought a dinosaur, yeah. good. Just no. What I'm talking about is none other than the giraffe and they're generally found in the sub-Saharan Africa. They stand at 16 to 20 feet tall and weigh up to 3,500 pounds. Fun fact, newborn giraffes called calves are born 6 feet tall and grow an extra inch every day in their first week. So they are probably taller than your boyfriend. <laughs> Before you start asking why I'm suddenly talking about giraffes, well, it's because our task today says pet a giraffe. So without wasting time, let's get to it. These full well-groomed individuals are peaceful and intelligent. They spend 16 to 20 hours eating, ironic how the figure matches with their height. They sleep during the remainder of their day in intervals of 3 to 5 minutes at a time. Because of the dangerous environment in the wild and no one wants to be delicious temptation to the lions, they choose to sleep while standing up but will lie down once in a while when the coast is clear. As for the giraffes in captivity, they can sleep for hours straight since they don't have to worry about predators, obviously. A couple of a hundred years ago, giraffes used to live in huge herds and there were millions in terms of numbers. But sadly, decades later, there's been a huge decrease in their population. It is now reduced to fewer than 69,000 mature individuals in the wild, which some scientists call a silent extinction. Due to loss of habitation, poaching, killed for ritual rites and trophy hunting in some countries, the giraffe's population has suffered immensely. In efforts to right the wrongs and give the giraffes a fighting chance, strong punishments are given to those who kill these animals if they are found, and trophy hunting is banned in most countries. Add to that, some giraffes are moved to places with no existing giraffes like reserves in Uganda, Chad, ETC. Some are taken to sanctuaries where they are bred in captivity. A world-famous sanctuary is located in Langata, Nairobi, Kenya and it is called the giraffe center home of the Rothschild giraffe by the way the Rothschild giraffe is a subspecies of the giraffe that was considered most vulnerable to extinction and ladies and gentlemen that is where we are going to do our task Giraffes. We're going to feed them and pet them. Have you ever seen a giraffe, mom? Nah. James, have you seen a, gi a giraffe? Yeah, but I've never got current too close to it. Ah. I'm going to hold it. You're going to? <laughs> Twenty-five kilometers later, we have finally arrived at the giraffe center. But before you go in, there is something I need to clarify. Giraffes seem chill and pretty much harmless, but still, there is a reason why we refer them as wild animals. These animals are not violent in nature and they prefer to avoid trouble if they can. But when they decide to fight or attack, then you better be far away from them as soon as possible. Okay, and here's why. Adult males fight for territory and mating rights using the force of their long necks like swords, and they cut their opponent's flesh with their own horns. They end up badly wounded or they die in the fight. But since they're smart, they only fight an opponent who's equal to them in strength and height. I can think of one or two people who should learn from them because, mm, 
but who cares anyway and as for the female giraffes especially when they are with their calves they are way more on the edge they won't hesitate to attack if they feel startled or frightened and they don't care whether you're a lion or a person getting hit by a giraffe's neck feels the same as being hit by a wrecking ball and as for their kick, let's just say a kangaroo's kick feels way more like a massage compared to theirs. The force combined with the weight makes them strong enough to break skulls of lions and turn them to minced meat when they decide to stamp over them. So that alone gives you a one-way ticket to heaven's door. And in case you think you can outrun a giraffe in an open field, unless you're Usain Bolt or can run faster than 35 miles per hour, then you need a miracle or a car to get away with your life. There is a little hope for us though. This sanctuary provides a barrier between us and the giraffes. They provide safety measures and procedures as well as guides who are always on high alert and ready to assist. Because they were bred in captivity, they already used to seeing people around. And if you have a snack with you, they might let you pet them. So don't worry, you can come to giraffe center, it's safe. They won't do anything to you if you keep your distance. Is this not for the girls? Yeah. It's like the food. Ah, let's go. Thanks. We are going to feed the giraffe these pallets. Looks suspicious. They look I really love the feeling you get when you walk at the staircase. It's like you're going into your own jungle. Wow, big TV with giraffes. Oh my, wow. <laughs> Ooh, I love the interior. It's like you are going inside your own cabin. From a jungle to a cabin. On the wall, there's programs of giraffe conservation and environment. Some of them are so hard to pronounce, so just use your eyes. Then the art section. Ooh, I love this one. Hours in a pot. The time is always right to do what is right. I love this one too. This is good too, it's just that you cannot see them properly. This is good too. Also this, so pretty. Just beyond the crowd, we can see where the giraffes are. Look at them, they are so amazing. <laughs> Oof, that hurt my feelings. I was finally able to feed the giraffes and this experience was amazing. Psst, yes you. Have you subscribed to this video? Subscribe right now. Damn. What? That's a whole tongue. 50 centimeters long. Yikes. So here is the part where we are finally achieved the challenge. Look at me, I'm betting the giraffe. Look at that smile. That's a smile of success. So we fed them some more and it's fun. And all they did is eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and then rejecting me I was told to try one last time and then they reject me why? <laughs> we almost had a free show and then he had second thoughts wow <laughs> just at the far end there is the giraffe manor if you have seen it on instagram then you may recognize it so this gentleman decided to give us his snacks because mine was already out and at this place 
it was so scary because we are at a level that the giraffes are taller than us. So I was kind of scared. But then I faced my fear and I fed them. He showed me how it is done and so I had to prove him I can do it as well. So he gave me his snacks again and I was now very confident I can do it. I wanted to prove that I can even pet them when I feed them. Just watch this. Then this giraffe just, oof! <laughs> How embarrassing! <laughs> Due to conservation programs on the ground, there has been a profound impact on the giraffe's population which is now at 117,000 and hopefully the population will grow more so that they are no longer considered as an endangered species. Say something in 5 seconds. Like this video. I have to come out clean and tell you the real reason why I decided to go to giraffe center. Mind you, I love the giraffes, I adore them. But back in elementary school, I was going for a school trip with my classmates and when the first time I saw the giraffes, I thought they were scary and freakishly tall, they were humongous and I was scared. So I ended up picking a scene at the entrance, I cried, I bawled my eyes out and I was escorted back to the bus. That was the first and last time I saw the giraffes. Imagine. The memory has been fresh in my mind. It has been haunting me. It is embarrassing because I understand if you're scared of lions, cheetahs, crocodiles, snakes, but who is scared of giraffes? Like who? Who who? Name, name one. Name one person. <laughs> anyway, a decade later, I redeemed myself. I retained the glory of my name. And the challenge has been complete. <laughs> Right now, if someone was to ask what I think about giraffes, I would say they are so cute, they are adorable, and I would go back and see them anytime. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for your time, and if you have enjoyed this content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video, then like this video. <laughs> you know what time is it? Task done. Oof, there too. See you again in the next challenge. Goodbye.